that is getting ready to leave today. So somebody gonna have them a nice motor sometime in a couple of days. Um, no, it's gonna take a little longer. That that one is going to Australia. Oh, okay. Well, I'm touching somebody motor. I'm gonna do some speed. Run. We start um, getting some customers from two different uh, staters right there. That's why one has the stripes because that's how they do it. Uh, this I'm just, just trying this new bender. Okay. But um, most of them are like this. <coughs> Big difference is the wire. Yeah. Okay. And saying both, both things are the same. Yeah, and most of the heat that you generate, it's, it's on, on on the ends. Okay, that's from the motors when they run it. Yeah. Okay, because this part of this wire is not doing nothing. Yeah. It's just creating heat. That's it. It's a heat source only. The wire that is doing something is the one inside. Is the one you don't see. Yeah, the wire. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you want to have the most wire that you can fit inside, and the least wire on the top. Okay. And that's why we got this. Yeah. So that's okay. yours. And that's the new. Yeah. And um, that makes a big difference on the. It makes a big difference. Okay. So this ain't gonna run that hot. Not like that would work. Yeah. With the big wire. Yeah, this runs uh hotter. Because it has more more heat that it has to go somewhere. Yeah. And well it just make make it uh, hotter. And then uh, the number of strands of wire that go inside, there's more in here than in this. Yeah, that one, yeah. So. To me that's why they use the best. <laughs> Right there. And one thing, people, don't ever cut this off and try to make your wire short. Yeah. Because you can't solder to it. That's why That's why I make it this size. Because this size, um, they're not going to cut it because it's too short. Yeah. Okay. yeah. If I make it a little longer, I run into the risk of somebody cutting, cutting it. it. Yeah. yeah. So now you guys know why the wire is so short. Like this. Because if you cut them off, yeah. you can't re-solder to it. Because yeah. you have to put that yeah. material on there. I got a, 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 a couple of customers that they had to send the motor back to yeah. get it stripped again yeah, and put the solder. Because you cannot, trust me, yeah. you cannot solder on that copper at all without that. Yeah. So don't ever cut the wires. What, I, kind of, what, what kind of soldering iron do you use? What kind of solder do you use? Yeah. Uh, why? Because I, I tried to solder and down, down, uh, it doesn't solder. Get my motors refreshed up. Just got this one redone. So what was wrong with that one? Uh, this is what we call stamp. Okay. So we put a whole bunch of little lamps together. That is not one solid piece. 
Oh, it's a bunch of those. Yes. They're only 7,000. So we put them all together in a tool and line it up. Line it up so everything. Let it, let it. it has to be aligned perfectly. And it's like, and that stack is about a hundred of these things. That's um, nine. No, yeah, it's about a hundred and thirty of this. Step. Yeah, of this lamps all together. It looks like a solid piece, but it's not. Okay. So we align it, and we put uh, uh, high temperature cement, and then uh, we press it like with ten tons, uh -huh. and. Uh, and it, it's in the fixture, we press it, tight the fixture, and then we cure the cement at 450 degrees. Okay. So, so what is this blue part? Oh, that comes later. Oh, okay. After it comes out. It looks like this. Well, this is the other lamination, but okay. it looks like this. And uh, we clean it up. We clean everything and um, uh, make sure it's straight and everything. If it's straight and we don't have no bumps or anything, then um, it's 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 clean. Then uh, uh, we put the blue stuff. Okay. The blue stuff looks like a paint, but it's not. It's a kind of um, it's something between epoxy and ceramic. Yeah. It's um, in. Um, that it's a powder. Okay. It's, it's like a like a like powder paint. Yeah. Like powder coat. Yeah. Oh. In uh, uh, we got a, a, a it's in a bucket and we put air on it and it makes a cloud. Oh okay. Okay. So and then we get this and we heat this at three hundred and fifty degrees and then we put it in the cloud. Okay. And the 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 um the powder sticks to it. Okay. Okay. It, well, it goes and touch it and it starts melting. Oh, okay. okay. So you know that that's that's one of the most touchy process mm -hmm. because you have to know exactly how dense the cloud has to be and how long you have to put it in there. Okay. Because if you put it too long, you you get too much, and the uh, and the slats get plugged. Okay, right there. Yeah. And if you put too little, too thin. It's too thin, and it's gonna be short. Oh, okay. When you put the wires in, uh -huh. then the wires are gonna be scraped with the metal, the, the part that it has no coating. Yeah. It's gonna be scraped. And then and it's gonna make, yeah, it's gonna make it short. Yeah. So this is. Very, very touchy, and not everybody can do it. Yeah. Then we put the wire, and I know. and uh, and uh, of course it, it, it don't look like this. It's big. It's big. And it's then cool. and then we have to put it on a fixture again and press it. Okay. So gonna be like this all fluff, fluffy uh -huh. okay and it has to be squeezed it gets squeezed all the way to that okay then now they're all oh here's one half here's one halfway done this is um this is only one one face okay it's one third of it mm -hmm. And of course, we do it by hand. Yeah, so we do it by the, hand. This is all the winding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's only one. It's it's uh, it needs two more of those because you see we I jump two holes. Yeah. So then I'm gonna make 
the same thing, but with another one of the holes, and then a third one. Okay, yeah. and that's why you get three wires. Three wires. Okay, because yeah. each one is a, it's one face. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. It's gonna lo look uh, uh, more ugly than this because it's all like this, uh, flat. Yeah. Before you press it down. Yeah. Then I press it down to get all the wire compact because the more compact the wire is it's gonna mm, that makes the heat travel faster so we want to get the, the heat out of there into the case okay okay so uh, in, in here like in here the wires you see a lot of space between them yeah and what, what happened is air gets there the air is there and then the air gets gets hot and it stays there okay so and, and now you got all this hot air inside heating heating the motor okay and it heats up fast yeah and in this case it just it goes from one wire to another to another out to the case okay. so the calcium motors are the same way like that they just oh they're worse than that oh, okay yeah they're worse because they got this uh, a lot bigger. They put less wire, mm -hmm. and their air interns are a lot bigger. Oh, okay. Okay. That's and that's the um, that's why you know Castle is it's, it's even yeah it's, it's even worse worse than yeah. this because I don't know they they have to do it fast to get yeah to produce yeah. so many of them huh? and they make the same motors over and over so yeah. So, so that's, that's the difference. difference. Yeah, you can see the difference. Yeah, you don't see any space in there. I don't waste any space. Yeah. <coughs> All the space in, inside the motor is used. Yeah. For one, you end up with a shorter motor, and then the other one is less air inside for for air hot air to be just set up. So. And on this stage, if this happened before the Kevlar, uh -huh. the magnets break. Oh, okay. The, because they're, um, the material is so hard that it's like glass. Oh, okay. It's very hard stuff, uh -huh. but if you hit it a little bit, it'll just break. Oh, okay. Shut it. break. And <coughs> That's how they came. The magnet. Yeah. This is just the shaft mm -hmm. with the metal. This is the core. And then we put the magnets in there. On top. Four magnets. Yeah. And we have to. And, um, and everything has to be very, very clean. Yeah. But we even, when we're going to. Um, Clean the magnets. Mm -hmm. uh, we wash our hands with acetone. Oh, so because, don't that on it. Because the uh, the sweat and the oil from your hands, mm -hmm. if it gets there, then uh, contaminates it. And and you have a spot when you don't have a bond in there. Yeah, come off. And eventually, it's going to come off. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. it has to be. Uh,